What? Happy hour? 4 to 6 p.m. Wednesday and Thursday. Hey guys, welcome to another amazing episode of covering iCast 2022. We are right here, Yak Attack. They have a bunch of accessories. I'm just gonna walk you through everything that I see here and what you can use it for. Let's go. All right. Okay, so we're gonna start right here on this tracker boat. Do you know that you could put a Yak Attack accessories on, on your tracker boat? Look at this. You can move it. Oh, what? This is a giant net. This is more like for boats. This is a pretty cool concept. And guess what, guys? It does work. I have one in the house. It works. And look at this thing. Let me show you how this works. Boom, you have that there. You got a 90 degree angle. Is that a 90? That's a 45 right there. You could take it off, put it back in. Oh, man. Whoa. And there, and then what you can do here is you can move it around if you want to. And look at all the stuff that you can mount with this accessory track thingy. Rod holder with stanchion, cannon rod holders, the suka tube. You could like glue set up here and put it on the other side if you want. Got a bunch of rod holder solution. You could even mount your torquito. Nice. Whoa, and um, <laughs> this looks like my boat really because I will have like a thousand rod holders. Look at this. Now, let me go over here, show you guys what else they have. All right, guys, let's see what we got here. We got a bunch of gear tracks. We got the aluminum one. This looks like, are they top loading? I don't know, man. Well, this is standard gear tracks. Doesn't look like they're top loading. Like you don't see the Y gap. But these are cool if you're gonna be doing heavy duty stuff. You wanna have two screws on each side. You know what I'm saying? Then you got a bunch of attachment points right here. If you wanna hold down a battery or a cooler, you can use this thing, just put a bungee cable through. You got the double header, you got a holding, double header throat holder solution right here. This, this is nice. You put two of them, you could even put a park and pole on, in here or just the paddle. I will even put rods, really. So, look at this, dude. Look at this. This is epic. If you have an inflatable and you want to add the rigging solutions, this is huge because this is what you can do, man. You can put a mighty mount plate right here. Look at that. <laughs> you could then put one of these, put a rod holder, put a fish finder, whatever. You could like rig it up the way you want it. And if you put two of this in the rear, you could add a motor to your inflatable kayak cool stuff they have different sizes different type different chases this is kind of matches the new design language that they have so oh with that is nice look at this it's like you could do you could buy you could get a bunch of these pieces together and make whatever you want to do happen that's crazy now look over here we got the bc carbon pro we got the original one and it's kind of like double mounted to these things i don't know if you could buy it like that then you have a different one that is just one piece solid and you have just the flag the other two have the light on it which is cool for night fishing we keep going we got more gear tracks this looks like to be plastic and we got fish finder holder solutions but this this is this is cool right here the cell block basically inside the battery will be inside this block and then you have the fish finder arm attached the fish finder solution arm attached to this and then you get the fish finder itself like all that is together in this one thing so you can move it from one boat to the other without having to worry about if you don't want to leave it on outside you can take it with you <laughs> inside this is super cool it's like one unit like it's one thing self-containing unit you have everything in one piece that's super cool over here you got more of those clicks you got anchor trolley solution and a solution for your extra rope and look at this i didn't know you could put like three of this together i mean that's i think that's too long but hey it's the park and pull link you could put a bunch of them together this is just a solid one this is probably eight feet and then you have the six feet you got more of those gear track solutions and these are nice i use this to start down my kayaks and this is pretty cool man you got the scoper plugs right here and this is to prevent water from slipping into your 
hand when you're paddling, but who paddles this day anyways. Now the camera mounts, those are epic stuff, dude. Look at this. This arm is amazing, it floats, it's very long. You could like adjust it to look any way you want to. You got the panfish, you got the other panfish, I forget the name of this one, but these camera mounts are really nice. And you have a small one. We did a full walk through this boat, but I think it's better here. I'm just gonna show you how the Yak Attack accessories will work. This is a collaboration between NRS and Yak Attack. And you can see here, you can, the patches, not the patches, the whatever this is called, but see, you could put it on, in here, put a cup holder if you want, a paddle holder, a rod holder. But right here in the back, you could get two of these and put them closer here and you could mount a traveling motor for sure. Or even in the front, you could do a lot of stuff with those patches. Nice. Boom. And of course, the black pack. The black pack comes in many sizes. You could rig it up like that. You could add gear tracks to it. And this is how it looks inside. <laughs> cool. Handles, all that stuff.